Well, in this video, I don't want my face to be seen. At least not until the end of the video. Is this fair? Say, for instance, you worked as a temporary employee for six years for one company. Don't get me wrong, not six years in a row. That'd be stupid for anybody to waste six years of their life for a job that's not theirs. But you worked six months out of the year for six years in a row as a temp to get a permanent job with the county a county job. Great benefits, a way to take care of your family. And as a temporary employee, you probably saw a lot of stuff. And, you know, you probably did. What if, as a person of color, when you're in your so called contract year, you're trying to get that permanent job? And two white employees give you a picture. A picture with several black ducks standing on the curve and one blonde duck in the gutter. With a thought bubble on the side of the blonde ducks and a sign that says niggers. Is that fair? For one of those employees to have been on probation because he had been hired permanently. So he didn't have the temporary status. Is it fair for that person not to have lost any days sleep? Not to have lost any time? And what about the other person who was a temp and it was only his first season there to hand someone a letter with a hateful picture on it hateful caption and gain full-time work. What about that black man that worked hard for nothing? Took a pay cut every year to get there and worked hard as he could to obtain full-time work. Is it fair? For that black man no longer to be welcomed at that company? Is it fair for the two white employees to be given full-time permanent status at a job? Is it fair? You tell me. Somebody once said, I'd get in trouble if I made a disparaging statement about someone black. I could lose my job if I was to say something about someone black. But why is it when the black man holds his tongue, he holds it far enough for them to cut it right out of his mouth? Why is it that the two white men were pretty much rewarded given the opportunity to be able to take care of them, their family. They didn't have to wait six years, six seasons for an opportunity. The opportunity was given to them after the fact. So it's not that we live in a free world where everybody can be equal because we can't be equal. Because if I would have said, look at that white guy, look at this gay, look at this lesbian, look at this, look at that, whatever. If I had have said something wrong, derogatory, racist, belittling, demeaning, I would not have been there as long as I had been. I would not be allowed to have been there as long as I had been. But when it comes time for someone to bite their tongue to try to better themselves and their family, maybe I bit down a little bit too hard. So now I won't bite my tongue anymore. I won't mix any words. Because when you do a full investigation and find nothing wrong, when someone can pretty much tell you 
in so many words that you can be lynched. You can be hung. You can be drug out to made. You can be made to do whatever they tell you to do. When someone tells you that you're not wasting your time pursuing an opportunity and then you find out that you're not just wasting your time, you're wasting a pit of your soul to search for an opportunity. An opportunity that was given to someone because maybe they knew somebody. Or because maybe I didn't scream. They called me a nigger, nigger this, nigger that. I thought that justice would work. But apparently for the Sonoma County Fairgrounds in Santa Rosa, California, justice is in the eye of the beholder. And right now I'm past my limits where I can't find any justice through the court systems because of an investigation that was done in their favor. How can I find justice? When will the light come on? When will I be able to be seen as a human being and not as a color? When will every American be able to stand up and say, I am somebody, not because I want to be, but because I was born to be? When will the opportunity for white people and black people to walk down the same sidewalk and someone says, look at that man and not that black man and that white man. Look at that person there instead of that color. When will the time be when I am no more a nigger, but I am a man? Who decides what I am? who I am, what I could become, or what I could be. How far will a man go for respect? He will go until there's a light. He will go until he can be seen and heard. And once he's heard, then everybody will be able to see. No matter what color you are, no matter where you work and what you do, you have a basic human right to pursue, to pursue happiness. You should be given the opportunity based on time spent, time served, and deeds done. I don't owe anyone anything and I don't have any favors I can call in to get my justice. So the justice that I have to seek, I must create. And in this creation of justice, what do you think is going to happen to me? Well, when you do a full investigation and you find nothing wrong, you leave a paper trail. As long as God put a brain in my head, public opinion will be my justice because in your words and in your words only not anything I've had even in your report your investigation even in your words I will seek justice because when the world can see what you wrote down on a piece of paper when the world can read how you have allowed things to happen then only you can pay for it then because I've paid enough well maybe you haven't paid enough yet but hey I don't threaten people what I'm trying to say is this public opinion will be your judge just like you or mine so hey let all the people who want to scream the n-word at the fairgrounds, scream it loud. Be proud. Stand by your convictions. Because I will stand by your convictions too. Thank you. This is the real AIX. Out of the dark and into the light.